right, let's get into making a spring. Deleted the startup cube, which is fairly self-explanatory. Just select it, hit delete, get rid of it. And we're going to go up here to a mesh circle. And we're going to create the circle. Now scale the circle down. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees along the Y. And then we're going to grab the little green arrow here and we're going to move it along the Y. And then Control, Alt, Shift, C. And move the origin back to the 3D cursor. What this is going to do is allow when you apply this or put this modifier on it is it will travel around its origin point. And if you move its origin point away from where it is, it will make it travel out in a circle. So now we're going to add the modifier, and a screw modifier, which we don't want it on the z-axis. We don't want it on the y-axis. We want it on the x-axis. Now, you see it looks kind of blocky and, and chunky. That's determined by the number of steps. So we're going to double the number of steps from 16 to 32, which will make it fairly smooth. Now, in your mod screw modifier, the offset revolution is the screw setting here. And whether you take that up or down determines which direction your spring goes. In our case, we're going to go, let's go minus 5. Now, each one of those is a turn of the spring, you can see here. I'm going to bump the iterations up, and you can take that up as many as you need for your spring's purpose. Then we're going to go apply that. So now we've more or less made a made a spring. But now we're going to tab into edit mode. Hit A to deselect everything. Now with edge select mode on, hold down alt and select the ring because as you can see it's it's not closed in. We're going to hit the F key to make a face there and do the same at the other end of the spring. Because we're 3D printing stuff, we want to make a manifold object. So you could stop here, if you wanted to, but I'm not going to because when I'm making these springs for the vehicles, I like their mounting points to be fairly flat. So there's a couple things that I did with mine which, again, you don't have to do because this will spring. It just gives you a very small area to glue it, top and bottom. I want the things to sit flat, and I want a larger surface to, to be able to glue it in place so that it holds better. Um, so, a couple things we're going to do. we we'll tab back out of edit mode. We're in object mode. I'm going to use a couple Boolean operators to flatten the spring on the top and the bottom. I'm going to scale this cube up, move it down to about there. And then I'm going to duplicate that cube, move it up along the Z, do the same at the top. I'm going to select my two cubes, 
hit control J to join them together. Then I'm going to select the spring, or select the cubes first, select spring second. Now, I have hard ops on my machine, so for me this would be as simple as hitting control minus to do the boolean operator, but since hard ops cost money and not everybody watching this tutorial is going to want to spend the money on that, I'll show you guys how to do. Now, bool tools is a free boolean operator add-on. And I, one that I highly recommend, and that's how we're going to use here today. So we're going to do a difference. So as you can see, we flattened, made a flat spot on the top and the bottom. Now, I like the mounting point on top and bottom to be a full circle. So from here, go back into Create. I'm going to create a torus, and I'm going to scale it up to it's about the same size as the spring. If it's a little bit larger, it's okay. Now I'm going to edit. <clears throat> the torus. Wireframe. Select the bottom half. I'm going to delete the vertices. Gives us a nice flat spot. And loop select, holding Alt. I'm going to select that loop. And then Shift and Alt. I'm going to select this loop. And we're going to bridge the edge loops. Back out of edit mode. Hold down shift and hit D to duplicate it. Z to move it up along the Z axis. And we're going to rotate it 180 degrees. I'm going to select the two toruses, control J to join them, and then we're going to do another boolean operator. I'm going to select the spring, holding down shift, select spring to get everything selected. We're going to go back to tools, down to bool tools, and we are going to do a union. So now we have a Compression spring with a nice flat top and bottom for gluing purposes and mounting purposes. You'll have a nice flat area to glue to the top and bottom of the spring. And that's all there is to it. You make a circle, you do a spring modifier on it, and then the additional but uh, and optional things are I split a torus in half and put it on top and bottom so that it was a full circle to give us a nice flat gluing area. And that's all there is to it. There's a nice spring that you can use in your models to make functional suspension or any number of things that uh, you could think of that a compression spring would help out. That pretty well concludes the tutorial and springs aren't hard. There you go. So go out there, design stuff, give it a whirl. Let me know how things come out for you. I find when actually 3D printing it, it prints really well if you lay it on its side. The printer seems to handle that fairly well and you get good strength out of the spring because I've had springs in my models such as the Scorpion that have been compressed many times and without any breakage. Thank you for tuning into this tutorial. And we'll see you next time on Tanner 3D.